Okay, so this week I'm gonna pull maintenance on the RV before our trip to Georgia, which will be next weekend. And I just wanna make sure that the wheel bearings have all been re-greased and repacked. I wanna make sure that there's no uneven wear on the tires. I think I'm gonna to have to make a little bit of an adjustment on the back axle again, as I did see a little uneven wear the last time I did this a few weeks ago. And I did rotate the tire just to be safe. But I want to check that. I want to do, take some measurements. I just want to look at the leaf springs, make sure the bolts are all looking good and the springs are looking okay. And just uh, give it a visual inspection and just check everything out before we head out on our trip. So if you are new to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you would take a minute, hit that subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost anything and it helps the channel out immensely. Ring the bell, that way you know when we upload a new video. And if you find this video useful, then smash that uh, like button down below. That really helps out too. Thanks. Let's get started. All right, so I'm just crawling under here. First thing I'm gonna look at is the tires and just kind of make sure there's no real uneven wear. This is the front tire on the passenger side and it looks okay. And these are looking like they're holding up pretty well considering the amount of mileage we put on them. We put 5,000 miles just going last Christmas to the Grand Canyon in Arizona. So just visually inspecting the springs and the bolts, making sure that there's uh, no obvious issues here. And so far these look okay. Now I'm gonna take a, take a few measurements on the axle and the wheels because let me see if I can turn. That wheel back there is the one that I have some uneven wear on and I've so I'm definitely going to take some measurements on that uh, back driver's side wheel. That is the wheel that I do get some uneven wear on, on the inside. Now, if you follow our channel and if you've looked back through old videos, I have a video from very early on where I straightened that axle on my own because I'd hit a curb and, and pretty, pretty much bent it a little bit. And it was getting some pretty uneven wear on the inside. And it has since done much, much better. After 5,000 miles of the Grand Canyon, a couple trips to Georgia, you know, a couple to the Panhandle and one to the Keys. I mean, this, I think we're approaching like, I don't know, 10,000 miles on these tires already. And I noticed a little bit of uneven wear and it was on that tire back there and I rotated it up to the front one just to prevent it from getting any worse. So I'm going to take some measurements and just see, uh, see how, how it is. I may have to adjust it just a little bit more. And if I do, that's, well, I'm sure I'm going to have to because uh, obviously there's a little uneven wear. So I'm going to adjust it and try to get it uh, back in line. Okay, so what I did is I duct taped the end of the tape measure to the front edge of the tire, ran it across and took a measurement. I got 79 and a half inches or 79 and three quarters inches. I did the same thing on the back of the tire, ran it across and I got 79 and a quarter inches. So I'm a half an inch off. So the front of the tire is basically out and not in alignment. And that's why I'm getting that uneven wear. I did fix the horizontal or the vertical a couple years ago. And that's why I guess the wear is not as bad. But if I can just uh, get that towed back in and back in line, then it should, uh, it should really help the uh, you know, the uneven wear on the tires. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna measure the front tire just to make sure I'm not seeing any uneven wear, but I just wanna see, you know, how dead on it is. I probably won't mess with anything on it, but I just, just curious. It's a little painful getting under there on those rocks, or I'm not even joking. So basically what I've done here is I've used the, uh, the hydraulic uh, ram jack and I've put two jack stands underneath it to kind of balance it in place because it is not easy to get up there while I'm trying to get this chain around there. So I'm gonna put the chain around there and I should be able to jack it and, and tow this tire back inward because it's, uh, it's definitely off.
visually it looks to be good. So I'm going to measure with the tape measure front to back on the tire again and see if we are not so far off this time. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just took the measurement from the center of the wheel over there and the front of the front center of the wheel over there to the outer tread marking right here. 85 inches. Did the same on the back. 85 and like an eighth inch. So we are so close that I think I'm gonna call that good. It's actually towed, it's actually towed inward a little bit. That fixed it. So we're gonna see how the tires wear from now. And uh, just keep my eyes on them. All the other tires appear to be tracking and treading pretty good. This one's wearing a little bit on the inside. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, so I was just saying that uh, this front tire is wearing a little on the inside. I'm tired. I actually forgot that I re-rotated this tire from the back tire. That wear was from being on here. So that tire is wearing okay. Obviously, because you can see here, it's this tire is fine. And this is the tire that was there. <sighs> it's a hard job. Let me finish up these uh, wheel bearings and get these repacked with some new grease. And now these tires look in line. I always could tell that that back tire was uh, sticking out a little bit. Like I said, it's towed in a little bit now. But that's okay. It'll probably settle in once it uh, hits a few bumps. Hopefully it doesn't start wearing the uh, outside now. All right, so for the last part of this process, I'm going to go ahead and repack all the wheel bearings. Um, basically with these, they have the dessert where you can just pump it full, just keep pumping, cleaning it out until you, uh, until you see the clean new grease coming out and then you know they've been repacked. And uh, this will be actually my first time actually doing this. I've, I've packed, I put a few pumps here and there, but I've not really packed them all the way so so basically there's a little notch there on at least on the Jayco's so you don't have to take the whole wheel off you can just pop this little cover off and be careful not to break the tabs and then once you do that you have access to the rubber seal here on the Zert and the wheel bearing take that off and you can kind of see in there yeah, the wheel bearing grease is pretty black so i'm gonna i'm gonna clean these up and pump them all full of new grease so you can see this is an easy job if you have these uh, uh easy lube axles like we do it's uh I'm thinking it's going to take probably about a tube per side because I've, I'm sure I've already gone through about half of this first tube and that in that uh, wheel bearing alone. I'm going to get the rest of these done. One thing I want to point out here as I did my second wheel, I kind of got smart and took a little bit of uh, paper towel and just kind of made a little bib underneath the where the dessert was there. So all the old grease just kind of came out onto the paper towel. That made it quite a bit less messy. So I just made us some nice frozen margaritas tonight because we both put in really long days today. Allie didn't get home until almost six o'clock. And yeah, and just got done. I had three parent conferences after school today. Yep. And I worked pretty much all day on the RV, getting that axle straightened back up and greasing those uh, wheel bearings. So I'm pretty wore out and I'm feeling some sore muscles and <laughs> just being sore from laying on those rocks. But uh, we are celebrating actually we want to thank everybody because we have surpassed the 2000 subscriber mark and we want to thank all of you who've uh, hit that subscribe button down below and joined our adventure and have been following us uh, we appreciate each and every one of you definitely <laughs> yep but i will update you know after we've put a few thousand miles on the tires and and, and let you know whether it's it's um wearing even now right which uh i think it will um, I think I, I think I pretty much got it. So, yep. As long as it, <clears throat> long as it stays in that position and doesn't, you know, go back. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. We will see you next week. All right, bye. Cheers. 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 <laughs>